Literally everything that this guy is saying is complete horseshit. Hey guys, I'm back for another video. Today we're going to be talking about Dr. Sam Robbins and his way of looking at exercise and how to get taller based off of that. So before we start, go ahead and give this video a like if you could, um, share with your friends, and most importantly subscribe. It helps me out a lot. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so I was laying in bed um, a couple days ago and I saw an ad about if you want to get taller do not do these three exercises and i was thinking okay what could exercise have to do with um your growth development okay so this guy is directly targeting the youth i'm talking about like 14 15 16 year old guys who are going into high school and they're wanting to get bigger stronger and do weight training and this guy is giving you know these kids the impression that weight trading is gonna cause you to be shorter which is complete horseshit okay so we do know that there's different types of fractures when it comes to your growth plates and how it you know they fit in between the bones or whatever and the joints and there's stress fractures and things like that and those only affect you know your growth development by very negligible like not even that much at all but he claims that these three exercises are going to cause you to get shorter. So let's go ahead and watch this video. So as I wrote here, do not squat, deadlift, or press, or shrug, if you want to continue to grow taller. Okay, so far this guy has a deep, monotone voice, very soothing, very relaxing. You know, he thinks he, he looks like he knows what he's talking about, he, you know, because you know, he's a doctor, right? I'm just some fool that's ranting online. And so he looks at this question. It says, at my school, I have a class called Strength and Conditioning, and we do many exercises, including squats, deadlifts, and overhead presses and shrugs every two or three days of a week. Uh, mostly squats and deadlifts mentioned in the video, so just stay away from that, so I'm in a bad situation. So he goes on just talking about how Yes, these three exercises, he says. So your shorter pressing movements, your deadlifts, and your squats, they apparently are going to cause you to not grow. You're not going to get taller because it compresses the spine, which literally does not make any sense. Like, I mean, yes, it's going to compress your spine, no shit, you know what I mean? But it makes it just like, you know, when you run, you're compressing your spine. If you jump, you are compressing your spine. If you do, you know, gymnastics, you're swinging and doing shit and doing a bunch of backflips and, you know, falling and, you know, landing on your feet and you're compressing your spine that way. So should we just tell people to not, you know, do these things? Like, don't run until you're, you know, over the age of 21, like he mentions in this thing. And don't, yeah, should we just say that? Like, don't do any sort of exercise that's going to benefit you? Like, as in, like, until you're, like, in your 20s? That doesn't make any sense to me. So, let's go on and see what else he has to say. You see, when you do these exercises, they're going to potentially compress the spine. All right? That's one thing to keep in mind. The strength coaches are idiots. Come on, push it, man. Come on. The one thing that I do agree with that he mentions in here is you need to get adequate sleep when you're a teenager, which just makes total sense. You need to make time for that. Um, because if you don't, that's gonna affect your gains. It's gonna affect literally everything that you do. But as far as him bullshitting and spewing about how the, you know deadlifting, squats, and your shoulder press, you know how those affect you, you know I, this just doesn't make any sense to me. It just does not. Um, he says that it's going to comp like a p potentially compress the spine. And that it makes more of a difference when you um, squeeze and fuel the muscles. And he says you got to be just like a bodybuilder. Which, you know, if even if you squeeze and, you know, contract your muscles, you're still going to, end quote, compress the spine. It's normal for it to compress the spine when you do these movements. But it's not going to, you know, make you shorter. That's what its job is for. Like, for example, your spine. You have 
these discs in between your vertebrae, right? Those are meant to be compressed so that you don't get injured. But of course, if you do the form wrong on exercises, you can potentially slip a disc and things like that and herniate them potentially. Um, that happened to me when I deadlifted. I uh, slipped a couple discs and bulged them out, and then they were degenerative, and you know now they're getting smaller quicker than every other disc in my vertebrae. But he's saying that it's going to compress the spine. Yes, it's a no shit thing. You know what I mean? So I don't understand why he's saying just avoid it. That would mean like avoid every contact sport, that like football and basketball, and you know. And even being in gymnastics, I mean, he's basically saying do not have a passion for these things and don't listen to your strength coach. What do you think a gym teacher is for? They literally teach that. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I had an athletic weight training class in my high school before I graduated. And what do you think that's for? It's to teach the youth how to use weights and utilize them and do the form correctly so that you can have a better quality of life and even if you for example if you're short you actually have a better passion to go into weightlifting like as a sport or bodybuilding you know what I mean um, if you're shorter you actually have more of an advantage than if you're taller um, for example I mean this guy's six foot three right I'm like 410 I wish I was as tall as him you know because it compressed my spine um when i was doing it so i mean i wish i was his height i mean i'm 410 a little jealous um but as far as what he's saying right now it's a bunch of bullshit um and he even goes on and spews about how you know we have poor diet structures when we're teenagers and we're up late at night and not you know getting enough sleep and that we should you know push the um school um time to 10 o'clock instead of actually waking up at a normal time um like when the light starts to come out like why why he said he talks about how like we're not farmers or whatever from like 50 years ago i mean dude come on you know how unrealistic that would be so pushing the time later back just doesn't make sense so like into the, like later in the day it just doesn't make any sense just wake up earlier and go to bed earlier it's a solution and eat healthier eat more protein rich foods I mean and, and then he's like saying that you know these weight training things are going to stunt your growth I mean I, there's a bunch of you know, studies about child labor and how like they're apparently shorter than the average person because of child labor they said that the working conditions of actually doing the child labor was causing a stunt in their growth when reality they were just malnourished they weren't getting the proper nutrition that they needed right so the same thing can be applied to you so if you're not getting the proper nutrition you won't grow if you're not and that goes for your muscles that goes for just how tall you'll be so if you're not getting enough nutrition that's going to stunt your growth a little bit but he goes on he's saying oh don't listen to your strength coach and things like that I mean this guy is, this is a doctor this is a doctor telling a kid to refuse to do things in gym class because it's going to compress the spine. Ooh. Dude, you are a doctor. You're going to give a 15-year-old or a 16-year-old the impression that they need to refuse listening to their gym teacher. What do you think a gym teacher is like job is to do? Is to teach, you know, kids like I said earlier how to train how to have a passion for it it makes no sense to tell someone to not do these exercises I mean and then he goes on and says do some Bulgarian split squats which I agree with those are hard as hell um, but they're not as effective I think as a back squat um, but I don't really do back squats myself I do like presses and things like that but because um, it hurts when I do a back squat but when it's applied to other people who are trying to get big and get good legs back squats are the way to go like I don't understand why people should refuse that so when he says things like that or deadlifts for example um, I mean those are gonna build roots for your legs like they're very important movements and pressing gets your shoulders bigger so when he's telling like like a 15 year and a 16 year old this 
that is going to be that one kid in the class who's going to be like, nope, um, a doctor told me to not do these exercises because it's going to stunt my growth. And he goes on, he's like saying, oh, come on, man. It's like, and like mimicking and making fun of coaches. What do you think their job is for? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. This guy is full of shit. Um, literally everything that he's saying, just anything other than the sleep. I agree with him talking about the sleep, but everything that, everything else that he's saying, it's just ridiculous. I've actually never thought that a doctor would tell a kid to not exercise. Not necessarily not exercise, but to do things differently when they should be done in a good way like you should be able to deadlift you should be able to squat and you should be able to press it's not gonna affect your growth what will affect your growth is your nutrition there's been so many studies I mean especially on coffee and how that stunts your growth there's not enough evidence to support that it's literally just your diet as always okay so I'm gonna have to end the video here guys so thank you guys for watching me rant about this guy um, he literally doesn't know what he's talking about um, that pisses me off because in reality, I was joking earlier. I'm not 4'10". I'm six foot one. This hasn't stunted my growth at all. Weightlifting or nothing. I've continued to grow even as I was weightlifting and I'm taller than both of my parents. So it doesn't make sense. Like the generations are going to keep getting taller. All right. So he's, he's just ranting at this point. But again, I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like, share it. Most importantly, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.